ejected one dog. I'm gonna go ahead and explore this the way that the randomizer would kind of require. I can shoot these guys from here. I'm trying to like emulate the experience if I didn't have levitation. Looking out for bad guys. There we go. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Everybody comes out. Wow, I'm really glad I didn't have Gungnir or that shield equipped. I mean, the shield wouldn't have mattered so much, but... Perfect. Two shots is all it takes. This is a fun little trap. Uh, <laughs> I actually haven't gotten a chance to test this one. That, that shouldn't be a surprise. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. The shrine has a magic trap sound. Yes, it does. I set up this so that um, the player can <laughs> shoot arrows out of this trap, which I just think is very charming. If you didn't have much in the way of ranged attacks, you could try to like bait enemies to this and then trigger it. Well, obviously wasn't of use to me right now, but it was fun to show off. I mean, this just kind of goes to show you like, if I have the freedom to explore some different level design ideas, for instance, if I'm making 300 of them, then I will come up with a lot of ideas. Conjure arrow, more silver, I'll take it. Boom. I like that you can hear that ink. Whoa, it summoned me onto a spike trap. That's not good. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I'll have to mention that to Wall of Justice. So I created this offset so that, you know, it spawns me over here, but it spawned me right on a spike trap and this just doesn't feel fair. 55 versus 54. Okay, so Christ Lakatos is always going to be better than this poor Arbalest. Oh, I'll give this to an NPC though. Perks is laughing himself to death in this and what the fact that I was baited. All right, we got ourselves some crystal ammo. Oh, only six crystal ammo. Oh, well, might as well put this on. Boom. Yeah, I figured that would just detonate him. Charging, do I need charging on my feather? I don't. I'm tempted to pick it up and keep it, but I can still do a lot more enchanting. Oh, I already have way more scrap than I can handle though. I don't know why I'm still scrapping. I have more than I know what to do with. And now I get a different dog. She was whining like crazy. I like it. I've got an absurd amount of traps. Lots of confusion potions. Okay, we found the exit. It's funny that we had two of these islands. What the heck? So you can see I, I manually put in my waterfall texture here. It wasn't on the other one, but now we have this one. It looks better. So we explored everything that was to be explored. Found our way around. That was kind of fun. It makes me wish that these underworld levels are bigger, and maybe they should be. That would be a fairly fast experiment for me to work with, is to just make the underworld bigger because, oh, uh, I never got through here. I should go back. Hit it with a pick and see if it works. Hit what with a pick? Oh, the... Tr I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. It's because I manually textured them. They're not called water. Make it dig immune then. Well, if you um, are familiar with the level editor, you would know that it is uh, not as simple as that. Either the whole level is dig immune or none of it is, except for the hard-coded instances where the programming... Yeah, it would, it would be the entire level would be too immaculate. And this should send us back to the beginning, I would guess. Nope, nope, we still had one more island to go to. I feel like if I made the underworld bigger, I would get a lot more fun exploration out of it. Because so far we're hopping between a lot of islands, which it's not bad, it's just not that interesting. Like, I don't mind the little islands filling in place to place. Like, we didn't get one interesting room in here. They're just all small islands. Like these, there's two of these that spawn and they're the most interesting rooms that we found. That's just not quite good enough in my opinion. So I, I may experiment with just increasing the size of the underworld compared to other levels. I brought you a dog. Oh, fun. Oh, it's just him. He won't whine. Wifey's the whiny one. I almost left Gungnir and um, my shield behind. Actually, let me try something. I was pretty sure Wall of Justice added something. Okay, so yeah, that sent my ally over here. That's pretty cool. So if you have leadership and you're a little low leveled and you're worried about what's on the other side, maybe you're a conjurer, you could send your uh, your grunt over to the other side and, and make them check out. 
What's going on over there? And if they die, then you know, oh, that's dangerous. Okay. Two silver arrows. One silver arrow. Come and get it, losers. Oops. Want my wife to appear more? Well, that's her choice. She'll appear as much as she wants. Hey, we got an enchant armor. Oh, hello. I heard you were mad at me. Reflect magic. I'll learn that spell. Well, we killed quite a few imps, which means the level's probably pretty empty now. What else we got? Ooh. Okay, we got a fun room here. Minus one book of uh, scroll of summon. I'm tempting to use that to just summon bad guys and eat them for XP. Might as well bust this open. One gold inside. One gold sack inside. Let's drop off this uh, arbalest on one of our guys. Can it, does it need to be repaired? It does not. You're gonna take the arbalest. You're gonna take the crystal. You're gonna take the crossbow because you've got a stinking spear. Oh, your weapon is cursed. Uh, I'm, so I'm shocked. Oh, you've already got a crossbow. Oh, but this crossbow is awful. I would repair it, but I have too much magic scrap, not too much regular scrap. Plus two slow digestion. I'll get rid of the regular one. What is the minus one summon again? Is it a band of demons? What is the minus one summon? I forget. An angry ghoul. Okay, I can handle that. <laughs> Dead loser. So you might ask, what is the deal with this space? What's going on here? To get naughty. You're going to miss me. Uh, so when I pulled the lever, this pentagram summoned uh, those two demons. And I slew them! New art that I made for Hell and the Underworld. I actually, I put it together quite some time ago. What do you think of that, Ink? Is it super edgy? Oh, yeah. Man, Gungnir would do a lot more damage than my stupid sword. Still not going to use Gungnir, though. A twin emblem in the game? Oh, I know what you're talking about. The flaming snowflake. That's one way to put it. <laughs> it describes it well, but it overlaps with some other language in an amusing way. So I think this is pretty cool. This turned out cool. This is the first time I've gotten to test one of these rooms organically, and I think it was pretty fun. Excuse me. Yes, I managed to snatch swift ammo from the jaws of the pit. Okay, so this is very long bridge island that doesn't get used that often, but you probably recognize it if you've played a lot of Underworld. This is one of the variants, probably fairly unrecognizable. And that was a case of me definitely arriving and being attacked before I could do anything about it. So it's just one of the risks that you have to take in the Underworld, which I think is fine, especially since you can send an ally through. Oh, Ring of Regeneration. We'll use it for now. Thar, another charging scroll. This time it's blessed. Maybe I'll keep it around because it's blessed. Okay, so we saw the entire level. Let's um, let's put levitation back on and I can find some areas that uh, don't have teleporters on them. Now this is interesting. Two of these spawn side by side, which is very irregular because this is like room 21 or something, or I don't know, maybe room 16 D or E. So for two of them to spawn and for them to be right next to each other and for them to select the same sub room is highly unusual. Okay, now I've almost got two full stacks of Swift, which is great. It was profitable for me to go exploring for that. How's my hunting? Yeah, I got rid of my second stack of hunting. All right, so I believe this means we're heading into hell now. No, you need to go here. I just want this one follower. Please do not assume that you have any idea what to do in here. Want me back. All right. I was confident my follower would be able to take it. I realized if I really want to buff up this follower, I'm going to have to be judicious about letting her get... Um... 
Where do, I heard a. I heard a shadow. Wow, what a heal. Followers still rapid fire with Arbalest. Yeah, I think I knew that. Or at least I, I figured that remained the case. Beautiful. Nice try there. Go get him. This level's very empty. You stand watch like right here. I hear a bleat. A bleeder. Another scroll of charging. Let's go ahead and just destroy that. Alright, we're gonna make more of these, I guess. I thought I had two stacks of hunting, but I must have gotten rid of one of them. That's fine. Hunting is a great general ammo, but it tends not to be the specialized ammo that I used. Yeah, and hell has not been overhauled yet. It could use a lot more variety than it has. It will be something I do eventually. Poop. Whoa, whoa, why did... There must be two traps in there. Polymorph potion. I guess I'll hang on to that. Pratyavaya. Fire. No, thank you. No, my favorite lockpick. Okay, decrepit staff of digging. Heck, let's just, um, let's get rid of this and charge up this staff. There. My guys must have killed that goat man, because I haven't heard him bleat in some time. Now I can finally read that book of teleportation. You, put on some boots. I'm tempted to give this ring of regen to, uh, my greatest follower. I don't know what she has right now. <clears throat> It's probably like constitution plus two or something. Constitution plus one. Magic resist plus two. You keep that. Another magic resist plus two. Do you have a ring? I guess I never give you a ring. All right. Cool, cool. It's time to kill bad guys and chew, and chew bubble gum. Good job. Very good. All right, now I'm wearing steel, and my follower's wearing uh, iron plus one, I think that was. Oh, ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. You baited me into singing banana phone. Guilty as charged. So many of these traps, holy moly, dude. Let's, uh, let's have a couple of polymorphs. What ammo do you have? Knockback, oh yeah, you were the one that was just like, Totally soloing uh, enslaved ghouls by just knocking them back. That was pretty legendary. Excuse me. Wow. Just easy game, easy life. Just totally crush those idiots. Food. For me or the or the dogs. Food for me. Okay, I should come have dinner. I'll finish this level. Um, if it turns out that it's the Baphomet level, um, I will need to finish that boss fight too, but it won't be long. What level is this? 50? Oh wait. 422? Okay, I should be able to finish this level without it being a boss fight afterwards. Pretty sure it's 25 is the floor that you run into Baphomet. Ink is excited that you're back. Do I smell burning? Not mine. Sounds a bit sus if you ask me. I think it's the stuff that was in the oven. That okay, was... good, good, good. And hey, Ink, how you doing? You talking to me? Uh-oh. You said something directly to Ink. There's gonna be consequences for this. Good guess, but actually no. Uh, you consume a tin of minced gecko with peas. Blech, rotten food. It's randomized, dear. It's a roguelike. Get used to it. <laughs> I can't play it. Ink says he's instantly awake. Also, a hello, Eurydice. You're the only one who calls me that. <laughs> That's true. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it smells so burnt. <laughs> oh, okay. There's nothing in there. Or is there? Let's try one more. The whiny nope. Dog came back. There's nothing. The what came back? The whiny dog came back. The whiny dog. I'm shocked. Okay, see you in a bit. You pick up the magic reflection amulet. What is mine? Magic reflection. Oh, I remember this little dungeon. Ooh -wee. Let's not trigger that boulder trap. All this lava burnt my food, exactly. You know what, I gotta give this hood to somebody. She's already got one of those hoods. Let's give, there you go. Trade out your stupid brown hat. This guy can have your stupid brown hat. All right, you all, you all please stay there. Hang out in this tiny hallway, trust me, it'll be fine. No, no, I said stay in the hall, gosh, you're dumb. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do in there, I guess. <laughs> I can, I can do that. I, I just did something illegal. I mean, I could dig it out. Let's not, let's not waste our time on that. Really happy your wife is aware of your existence? Yeah. Well, you know, you spend time and energy to, to get to know us, and 
are curious about our situation and that has some value to us. So yes, she knows who you are. This is the happiest day of my life! I'm not quite done with this level. We have another useless lava tower that I think we'll just ignore. I've got a friend whose wife is a streamer and because she's on camera a lot, she attracts a lot of audience who is creepy in a, in a bad way. Please don't stand in front of the trap, you dumb idiot. Yeah, freaking simps. And I'm not talking like the Simpsons, because the Simpsons are cool. Everyone likes the Simpsons. Eurydice, love to leave them cold and bothered. Cold and bothered. These boulder traps aren't very effective. I'm definitely going to revise all this when I redo hell. Anything to repair? Yes, I do need to repair my fancy new breast piece. Okay, good. I had a lot to repair on it. I'm happy I did, because it was probably going to break soon. Too frozen to simp. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to head to the exit, and this is going to do it for me for now. Assuming this isn't Baphomet strangely. Okay, it's not, as it shouldn't be. It is a Minotaur level. But we're going to call it for now. I got pizza to eat and the rest of my evening to get to. Ink, go to bed. You're up way too late. No! All right, cheers. Bye-bye. Good night.